This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 20th of October. And we're looking at the Dow down 96 at 33,118. One of the things we'll talk about as soon as I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour is how the price was repelled at this 200 period moving average as the daily chart. And it's producing that H pattern that we always talk about and call it the dreaded H because if it takes out the left side low, that's very negative. But so far, it's just arching over and we're looking at the S&P, same thing. The S&P at this particular moment is trading uh, down 16 at 42.61. It's gone underneath the key 200 period moving average support. Uh, quite a negative session there so far. And we're, we've just opened um, 35 minutes. Here we go. Looking at the QQQ, and this is very interesting because the QQQ, that was that and the semiconductor index are the two key indices that the weekly charts did not have not yet crossed positive, cross negative. And we'll have to wait until Friday at 4 o'clock. And the NQ did earlier on this morning cross negative. Now it is not. Yep, it's still positive. It's going to be watching this. There's the H pattern as well. IWM, the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 is trading down 26 cents at 168, making a new unrecovery low, uh, at least a monthly low. Looking at gold, now this is going to be very important because gold is up $20 at 2000. <clears throat> You could say, ah, it's just a number, but that 2,000 gets you very close to the repellent line, the 200 period, oops, the rectangle high that was the high of the week. Oh, let me just get this if I can see it. There we go. The week of the 21st of July at 2029. So this is very strong action. This does not bode well for what's going on in the Middle East. If you look at the dollar, uh, earlier on the dollar was just about unchanged. to see where it is right now. It's down four ticks at uh, 106.20. You see, there's a potential arch formation here, but the dollar is still the currency of import at this particular point, and bonds. Let's just look at bonds. Yeah, yeah. Bonds is trying bonds are trying to rally up a half a point, but they did make a lower low earlier today. And crude oil, as we go out, we're going to come back from the tank and see this hour. Crude oil is up a dollar twenty-three. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you in a few moments.